right then. Good drive, straight down the middle. No messing about. See that straight flight. Don't want one of them slices again. Ah, and it has gone careering into the trees down the right hand side. Guys, I'm Matt Fryer, PGA professional, and in today's lesson, we're gonna be looking at three things you can start to do to eliminate the slice with your driver. So let's get stuck into the lesson right now. So, as I've just hit that drive there, number one cause why we might be seeing the strike, if we get in close up to this, we will notice how healy that strike is there. Middle being here, strike just over there so a great tip just to start off always spray your face so you can get an idea of where you're starting to strike it reason why that might cause some slices drivers don't have flat faces like irons so what we've got is some bulge and some roll on the face so when we do actually heal it the club itself is designed to actually curve our ball back towards target. So when we do heal it, it's gonna see that for the right-handed player, we would get more left to right movement on it. And then obviously, if I've got the other things that we'll talk about in the video shortly, it's gonna see that that slice gets a little bit exaggerated. So we need to make sure that we're starting to get a better strike and how do we do that? So as I actually took my setup in that swing then. One thing that I did to make sure I was healing it for the purposes of the video was that I actually pushed the pressure a little bit more towards my toes in my setup. So from there then, even if we just think about if I set this ball up here now, if I align my club up to the golf ball and it's plumb bob out of the middle there, I take my address and I push my weight forwards. Now we see that that club head's going out in front of the golf ball and vice versa if you're a big toe striker you might see that you're leaning too much in your heels and as you can just see there just that little movement back and to in my feet is altering where the actual club is going to be delivered from so in setup what we need to try and feel is once we've lined the club up to the little alignment guide or whatever we have on the top of our driver being in the center we've got to feel now that the pressure is very much down into the balls of the feet feel that we're actually almost locked into the ground and we're not going to be feeling like we're rocking back and forth as we go through the swing because that is one of the reasons why we'll find those poor strikes and see that we get the healy strike so good setup let's see if we can whip this all away with a better strike we'll feel nice and balanced here and i'm going to try and remain in this balanced position and get it away a lot better and absolutely bullet straight and if we see this one now how lucky am i i've got it just perfectly out of the middle could have been a slight bit higher but that's tip number one to try and stop that slice find your balance and you should see you're getting better strikes let's have a look at reason number two as to why we're getting those slices okay so reason number two as to why we actually get the slice with our driver the, the last two things do blend together, but one of the things, if we are getting the slice, is all to do with our face aim. Where is the club aiming relative to our target when it gets to impact? And also, where is it aiming relative to our path? Because what we'll find with the slicer is that the face is always open. So if I've got my target down in the center of the fairway now, what we will find is when it's delivered, it might be that it's actually looking pretty square to it, but normally what we'd see is looking a little bit left of the target, but then the club is working across so we get a bit of a glancing blow here. So what we would generally see as well with a lot of slicers is that they roll the face open in the backswing so when it is delivered we're never seeing that that toe is passing the heel and actually letting the club release and square up and actually get into a closed position to try and eradicate that slice. So one of the big things that we would look at is where your grip is to start off with. If you haven't already, do check out the videos on the channel for grip. But once we've got a neutral grip where we're seeing just a couple of knuckles and we're actually seeing that we would get into this position here, what we then want to try and do is be able to rotate our forearms and allow the toe of the club to start to turn over a little bit more. So a nice little drill I get my lessons to do is that 
we'd take the ball off the tee and what I'd like them to try and do as we're coming down I want them to imagine that the toe of the driver really exaggerating is the thing that is actually starting to hit the golf ball and almost imagine that as we'd hit it we'd want to see a little bit more of a diving hook i want to see some extremes i don't want to see that it's just fading a little bit if you were in a lesson i want to see that you get the snap hook going so we'd have some practice swings once we've checked the grip we're letting the toe feel like it's pointing at the target on the way through not holding the heel to it and then from there we're going to try and see if we can get this one diving a little bit as we go through. So here, feel the toe turn over. And even there, a real diving hook. But I was able to actually square the face up. I've got my good strike. I've got the closed face. Now we just need to figure out the third thing and we should be hitting straight drives from there. Okay, so tip number three, the third and final one in this video, guys. As well, if you are enjoying the video, do remember to hit that like button down below and also hit the subscribe so you don't miss any future lessons. Tip number three, what we would see generally with people who have got that open face instinctively, and I bet you're one of these people if you are a slicer, we can see where the fairway is, but how many times have you aimed off 50, 60, 70 yards across another fairway in the hope that you're gonna curl it back towards our original target. The problem with that is, if we know that our target line is down here and the arc of our swing and the path of the swing should ideally be in to in, when you're aiming out to the left, what you're now compounding is the problem. You're gonna be swinging too out to win as you're doing this, working too much across the golf ball which then leads to you holding the face to try and get that side spin back to target so what we've got to try and do is actually get more of a solid strike and feel that we're getting this more into in path so what i'd like you to do if you are someone who is giving this out to in path and glancing it we're going to take our setup where we split our feet like this then we're going to feel that our back is almost turned to the target and we're going to have some practice swings where for me as a right hander i feel like i'm letting the club swing down the right hand side of the fairway here really feeling that i'm not getting this out to in over the top motion i feel like i'm actually sweeping up on it a little bit more and let it swing out to the right also when you have that problem of aiming too far down the left hand side you put the ball too far for in your stance and your shoulders close over too much so we get this downward hit and attack angle across it one little tip we can do is just try and move the ball back ever so slightly in our stance so if we just set it up here where we would see normally if you are the person who's aiming a little bit out to the left it would almost look a little bit like this where parallel and perpendicular to the fairway it's well out in front as where now if we just put it just behind the left heel ever so slightly that's going to encourage a little bit more of an into out path this coupled with the feeling here of this drill swing where we're really closed body really closed stance and feeling ourselves wrap it over if i can couple all these three things together now all a little bit back in my stance feeling nice and balanced and i'm going to let the toe turn into impact i should say i get rid of my slice and split the fairway and actually a tiny little draw down the fairway first one in many years for me that one so guys i hope this video has helped you if it has do hit the like button down below try those three things out go through the stages which one is your fault is it the face is it the path or is it your strike if it's all three you know what to do guys hope you've enjoyed this lesson thanks to formby ladies for having us down here catch you soon in the next lesson